So I was asked to tell you the association is filing formal charges against you. The Police Benevolent Association is filing charges against me. I'm sorry, Chief. Look, I don't go along with this decision, but somebody had to tell you and I got the assignment. All right, well, you just tell them that I have never once publicly accused Frisco of being a bad cop. I've never done it publicly, and I certainly haven't done it privately. Well, the whole... How dare they file charges against me? The whole point of the association is to take care of their own. I mean, if they think Frisco's getting the shaft, they want their protest on the record. All right, well, let them have it on the record. But I want my statement on the record also, and that is that Felicia has been set up, and Frisco is trying to handle this whole thing on his own. Now, if he'd come to me in the first place, I could have handled it myself without all this trouble. Look, I know what you're saying. Look, I, he should have come to you. Yes, he should have come to me, but he didn't. When I get my hands on him, I'm going to teach him about, about teamwork, because it's the last thing he's... Anna, I'm on your side. I'm worried about them, too. I know. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Vince. It's just that I'm getting all this pressure from every single angle and I have nothing to tell anybody. Still uh, no lead on where Frisco and Felicia are? Well, the last we knew they were in New York. They could still be there. I just I just wish that there was some way that I could I could let them know it's all right to call me. You're already being accused by the press of overprotecting them. I know. I would give up my job if I could help them. Anyhow, I would Yes, come in. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, that's right. Well, I'm through, Captain. Uh, let me know if there's anything I can do. Yes. Thank you, Vince. And, uh, send my love to me and the child. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Was I right? Yes. You were right. The PBA. They are filing charges against me for persecuting Frisco Jones. And the Lawyers Association say that I'm coddling a criminal. I can't win at all. I'm sorry you're having such a rough day, Anna. Yes, I'm having a rough day. Very rough day. Did you hear anything from Tom Green? What did he say? Oh, I don't know if it means anything, but he said that Frisco was very intrigued with a shipment of washing machines that was being delivered out to the ADZ warehouse. Washing machines? Why would he be interested in that? I don't know, but uh, he watched the shipment being delivered. It turned out it was armed, under armed guard. On guard for washing machines? Yeah. Doesn't make sense. No, obviously that's what Frisco thought. So he asked Tom to keep watching them and let them know when the guards were gone. Well, did he manage to get in and check out the machines? If he did, he'd never say anything to Tom. Who owns the ADC? I got records checking that right now. Good. Let's go and check this record. I'd like to find out who owns that place and what kind of shipment they bring in. He must have had a good reason for wondering about this place. I think that reason was why Felicia got set up. I'll bet that this floor has never been so clean ever, ever. And this furniture has never been in such good shape as it is right now. Well, I wonder what we have to do now. I don't know, probably wash dishes or something. Remind me to call the labor board and complain, will you? I'm getting a little sick of this. Oh, honey, we can't complain. We could have been arrested. Hey! How are we doing there, Harold? You got another job for us, yeah, huh? Yeah, we'll do anything. Yeah. Uh, I think you're more than paid for your breakfast. You can put up that mop and pail now. Oh, thank you. We really appreciate that. No problem. Yeah, absolutely. Not, not everybody would be that understanding. <laughs> Frisco, look. What? The printout. We lost Tumble Dry. 